going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. The video is going to be a little bit different today and it's going to be a little bit different. For about a week I'm going to try doing this and we're going to see how we like it. I've got a bag of trash that I need to take out but also I've got our dog Bear here who got back from puppy training because he was just, he was a handful and Marshall is now here, a little boy and I'm like if this dog is not well trained I'm going to have some problems with him if he's pouncing on our kid you know so he's doing much better, very well behaved now. For the most part he listens very thoroughly, don't you bud? Don't you bud? Sit. Sit. Lay down. Stay. And he pretty much will just stay there until I tell him to come. He's doing really good. Really, really good. Super happy with how he turned out from the training. So he's doing good. But what I meant in terms of the video is going to be a little bit different for about a week. I'm going to try and see how I like doing vlogging again. Those of you who remember way back when I started LNP, that's what I did. Every single day for the first year, like the first year, year and six months. Hardly ever missed a video. I think it was like two or three times I ever missed a video in that year, year and a half. And when I did, I was like devastated. I was like, oh, I failed as a YouTuber. You know, like I didn't post a video today. I got a little bit tired of it and then I went from that to basically having myself a set schedule for the past like month and a half two months probably where I was doing just Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and I might go back to that I'm not sure I just thought you know what I want to try going back to vlogging like I used to just vlog whatever I've got going on see people like it life's a little bit different now I got my own house and vehicles and businesses and all this other stuff so life's like different and there's gonna be some massive massive changes so we're gonna see how this goes we're gonna see if we like it see if you guys like it. and if you do like this leave a fat thumbs up and I'll keep doing it Reagan is actually getting ready here getting Marshall already and then we're going to be heading over to my parents house because we have absolutely horrible Wi-Fi where I live right now it's really no good at all for uploading videos so a little bit of an inconvenience but we're trying to work on actually buying a building which I'll get into a little bit later but this is our goal coming up I get some light on in here but um, I want to go over a couple of things with you guys and kind of give you a little bit more insight on what exactly I'm talking about and what exactly that's gonna mean for us. But uh, first I'm gonna get these buckets of water filled up because since last night, they have already drained them out by 8 a.m. this morning. And now we have to give the pigs and chickens some water too. And then I'll get into that topic I was talking about. But before we talk about this new plan, I want to thank everybody who entered to win this truck which this giveaway is now over by the way. However, the Hellcat giveaway is still live, so if you wanna win our 2018 SRT Hellcat plus $5,000 cash, that is on a separate website. There's a link in the description below, pdapparelco.com, and this is your best chance and your last chance towards winning that car plus $5,000 cash. The giveaway for that ends in five days though, so don't waste any time. So that thing I was talking about that I was gonna share with you is Reagan and I are trying to buy a building right now to do our own fulfillment. Um, we might temporarily do it at home just until we close on a building and the building that we're trying to buy actually not only is it going to be used for our own fulfillment so we can get like dang near next day shipping which is something that we haven't really been able to offer except for like way back when we first started doing giveaways ourselves and since then we've had a fulfillment center pretty much do all of our stuff for us which I'm getting to a point now to where it's getting a little bit slower and slower and slower with shipment times and I'm not okay with having unhappy customers. I don't want any part in that. I want my customers to be super happy and satisfied with their services that we give them. So I want to take it into my own hands and make sure that I can see the quality management and how things are getting done so that my customers have the absolute best experience and that's what me and Reagan want for you guys. We don't want you guys having to wait on stuff. And this building we're trying to get has seven uh, rented spaces in it, five are residential and they're like apartments and then the other two one is actually rented out by state farm and then the other one is completely empty and it's like 2,000 square foot uh worth of space so we're thinking about buying this building and using the empty spot for our fulfillment and then the rest of the building is rented out and has like five thousand dollars of monthly income coming in from that one building regardless of whether or not we do our fulfillment there forever it's rented out and it produces cash and that's what we like to spend our money on is investment stuff not really just like oh you know I'm gonna buy myself the craziest truck or craziest car or whatever just to brag around and say that I have it I really don't care that's why I'm building a first gen for me and just to keep videos pumping out for you guys and then eventually it's gonna be giveaways because I'm not that type of person I just can't buy crazy stuff and keep it forever just to say I have it and just to brag on I really just don't care about that just want you guys to stay in the loop with what's going on because I mean that's what we're moving towards to give you guys the best service possible and uh, I think you guys are gonna really like what we have in store Oh, I thought this was your water. No, I got one. I'm not leaving that in the video. Yes, you are. Because <laughs> no, I can hear you sitting on your phone no. in the bathroom. I'm not leaving that in the video, yes, by the way. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. It's okay. We're on our way to my parents' house right now because of our awful Wi-Fi situation and how um, 
we really can't do anything from home except for like send an email or something and that's about it. So we're gonna head on over to my parents' house, upload some videos, and what we do from there, I'm really not sure. Have any plans? I need to take the truck to the paint shop. That's true. She does need to do that. I don't know if we'll do it today or not, but she does gotta do that too. Even if it sits there. <laughs> yeah. Quick update. We left my parents, videos are up. She's got something she's gotta pick up, so we're gonna go pick that up right now. It's actually a front axle for her Rosine. Oh my gosh, there's a groundhog in the road. Oh, and he probably just got random. Nope. Oh, oh. Yeah, he got nailed. Did he? Yeah. Aww. He almost made it, it back. He was a baby. He almost made it back. And Did he really just get hit? Yeah, we. I didn't hit him. Oh my gosh. But like, he almost ran under our car, then he turned around and ran, ran away. He went under the other truck, and then he actually got hit by the truck that came behind him, which he wouldn't have seen him because there's another truck in front of him. But, ah. That. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's look, a bummer. Look at the bright side though. You can't break some horse's ankle <sighs> in a pasture from digging a huge hole. Yeah, but there's no horses around here. This is really like suburbia. Do you know how many Amish we have around here? There's a lot of suburbia right here. Yeah, there's, I mean, now we're in suburbia, just down the road a little more, but we got a lot of, a lot of Amish around yeah. us. Anyways, that's, that's like <laughs> not even related to what Okay, we're what happened about. in like, the moment? Why, yeah, why are we talking about Because I just literally were filming me he was crossing the road. Uh, Died. It a was bummer. a little guy. It's a bummer too, cause like it was such a cute groundhog. Like <laughs> if it was an ugly groundhog, we wouldn't have cared. But it was cute groundhogs. I'm telling you what, they don't deserve that. On our way to go pick up an axle for her truck, because her truck, from the time before she even got the truck, the truck had been in a small front end collision apparently, because the front hub, like the front passenger side axle, like the hub of the axle, the whole axle itself is like the hub is like bent up in like it's not like a bad ball joint or piece of suspension component like the hub of the axle is bent so her wheel looks like it's tilting in on the passenger side like all the time we're gonna go pick up this new axle that she's buying and then other than that i'll catch you guys back at the house it does need a little bit of work however i think we can do it i think i think we can make it function and it was kind of cool because the axle look how this guy you notice how these guys got over because they think i'm gonna try to like speed up around them and this lady speeding. Dude, I'm not gonna try to speed up and cut you off. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to merge with everybody else. The guy we bought the axle off of was actually like, we're like getting ready to load it up. He's like, I feel like I've seen you. Like, I feel like I know you from somewhere. I'm like, YouTube maybe? He's like, that's, you're the guy. Loud and proud. He's like, I watch your videos, man. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He probably just threw you off because we're driving an SUV, not a truck, you know? So he's like, yeah. He's like, that must have been it. I just wasn't putting two and two together. Now we're gonna get this to the house, get it unloaded. Well, actually, take that back we're not unloading this thing I'll show you why we're not unloading this once we get back to the house and it actually came with a little bit more than just the axle here's the front axle uh, it does need a little bit of assistance but there's not many options for sale around us it's uh, it's got some other parts on it like it's got the steering box don't know if it's any good but it's got the steering box pieces of the front of the frame cross members strut towers are on it and the strut towers are actually still in good shape those could be uh, sanded and painted and Somebody else could buy them. The brakes actually look like they were in good shape. I don't know if they're gonna be in any good shape now that they've been sitting for quite some time. The trays need to be cut out and replaced though just to be sure that they're not gonna like rust to pieces and crumble. But what her goal is gonna be is dismantling everything and basically working down the axle and painting it herself. And if you wanna see that process, that's gonna be on my wife's channel. Her link is always in the description below to her website and her YouTube channel. We're gonna be trying to work on the first gen a little bit here. I'm not gonna get a whole lot on film right now, but I do wanna to try to at least start vacuuming and wiping down some of the dash components back here that are just really dirty, like the plastics here for the airflow, for the air conditioning stuff. And the air conditioning did work. It had a little funny switch, like right there. You had to kind of like pull a little knob to turn it on. It's kind of weird, um, but it did work. So we're gonna try to clean this all up and then maybe, just maybe, see if we can fit the dash in here. I'm not sure. Well, I can honestly say I'm a little bit bummed out because uh, I didn't get any of this on video. Ugh, I guess it's not a huge thing. It's just the dash going in the truck, but you know when you think you hit the record button and you don't, that's what happened. Here is the new dash in the truck. I'm not completely done with everything, but um, I did try to wipe it down just real quick before I flipped the camera back on once I realized it wasn't actually on. Um, dash is wiped down. We've got these screws all fastened in across the top. And uh, I might actually pop these top ones back out and paint them black, like the heads of the bolts, just so it looks a little bit cleaner, because I just noticed that they uh, they stand out that they're kind of rusty. Actually, you know what? I take it back. The seal for the window, 
the windshield, I mean, is going to cover those up anyway. Because I remember that with the windshield in, you're not going to see the bolts because the seal kind of covers it up. But anyways, here's the dash so far. Like I said, it, it turned out really good. Um, the only giveaway that it's not the original dash is it's red on the inside. And I just realized that. Um, but it's really not that hard to pop the glove box out if I want to paint it again because I just have to take out like four screws along the bottom and then that's it. So I did get the gauge cluster put back in that the truck had originally and reconnected everything. The AC and the heat and all that stuff, that stuff's all in. The radio I did not put back in because it was junk anyway, so I'm just gonna leave it out until I put the new one in. Here's the progress so far. Turned out, it looks really good. It's such a clean looking dash. It really does look nice in this truck. I'm not gonna get into specifics of what we're gonna do next because I really don't know what order it's gonna happen in, just whatever shows up first. That's gonna put a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very different style video today. I just tried to film a little bit of all of the stuff that we had going on instead of just um, just the truck. So if you guys like this style video, please leave a thumbs up so I know you guys wanna see more of them and leave a comment down as well. But do not forget that if you wanna to enter to win our 2018 SRT Hellcat plus $5,000 cash, that giveaway ends in five days. It ends on July 22nd and that's your best multiplier and your last chance to get in on that car. Link is in the description. It's pdapparelco.com. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.